did the Great Plateau last this long? I feel like it didn't. Certainly it didn't last this long. Discovery. Pondside Cave. It's an actual named location. Bright Bloom Seed. Uh, it has attack power. It's a light source, which sounds really sick for, for arrows. That makes me excited. Hi. Um, I really don't want this. It's not fast enough. I want this. Yeah. Yeah. Key swing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'm glad they give me those tips. And so keys look like they're extremely useful in, um, die. It looks like they're very useful when, uh, for archery. All right, I wonder, okay, I gotta check this. Amber, whoa, that's weird looking amber. Uh, uh okay, it's spiky. What is that? What? That's a new enemy. What on earth are you? You look kind of terrifying. All right, is that an attack? What is happening? Wait, where'd he go? 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 I don't like that. Do you go down the cavern? Yes, this is gonna make some noise. Uh, put away. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that, honestly. Uh, break this quick. Okay, he's still over there. Power of fire, okay. So we fuse that, get fire. Amber. I don't think I should pull my punches with this guy, to be honest. Maybe I, I, mm, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna pull my punches. First, let's equip that. Now, let's try, let's try one of those homing arrows, actually. Because in, in theory, I can shoot it around the wall, right? That was fantastic. What? 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 Hello? Oh, there are keys right there. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, equip this. Die. 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 Let's try this again. Got him. I need to do it every time. And again. Is he dead? Where'd he go? Wait, what did he just, what did he drop? What is that? Is that a rupee? Bubble gem. Bubble frogs, okay. Oh, they're like, oh, they're frog versions of the rabbits. Okay. I guess if, after something, nice. Uh, I guess after something as like wacky and random as as like moth rabbits, where else can we go but moth frogs? Really? Uh, let's equip that. Now I'm looking kind of stylish with my little Triforce fringes there. Oh, that's our room. I was like, I'm ready. I I was so ready to to shoot more frogs. I was like, um. This frog ain't gonna know what hit him. Are those dead? I think they're dead. Oh no, they're not. They're alive. And not enemies. Uh, the rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation on hold indefinitely. This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. Only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Which Zonai devices? Ah, uh, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They're, they're necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices that are mul multitudinous purposes, or for multitudinous purposes. Uh, using it requires energy. You have energy cells, well, one of them at least. Uh, perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. They store th uh, they store the energy used needed to use the devices. Uh, they were punished automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, it may run out in unopportune moments. Uh, okay. So, that... I love that feature. 
All right, so let's, um, I'm pretty sure I get the gist of this, but we're gonna talk to Raru after I cut this stuff up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, get a bunch more arrows because we don't have enough. We really, really don't have enough. I don't know why they want me to use so many bloody arrows here. Like, I, I didn't even have like, I probably had seven arrows uh, by the time I left the Great Plateau Plateau in Breath of the Wild. And now I have 72. Raru, hi, you mm. look like you're enjoying yourself. <clears throat> the steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we created others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Hmm. You should ta ta take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. And as I did some of the other tutorial stuff, I am going to like largely skip past some of their dialogue since you guys have experienced this already. Uh, we're exhausted. I already asked about that. Is that the guy I asked before? Let's talk to this one instead. What do you have to say? They're damaged. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Say that again. Oh, they're just thinking about tackling it at dawn. And I talked to you. Maker, maker, maker. So what I want to do, I keep going up to equip runes. Oh, boy. Okay, yes. You know what these guys... These guys are so... Si I didn't take that as him denying me permission to use this, which... Yes, whatever. But apparently he doesn't want me to use his logs. He'd rather use someone else's logs. Uh, the sound effects those guys make remind me... They're uncannily familiar to uh, the sounds that the robots make in Nier Automata. Automata. And I almost wonder if it's the same exact sample they use. Attach. Rotate, attach. That's wrong. Attach. And then before I proceed, I need to I need to go check on what's over here. Ultimately, I probably need to go over there, but... You see this, right? Okay. The beauty of... The beauty of this control scheme is that run jumps are so much easier than... Move that closer, drop it down, B. Jump. I need to kind of prepare my way or else I won't be able to come back, so move down. Drop. Grab this one. Let go. No! I don't have a cell clock! <laughs> um, whoops. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, remind myself here that I don't- I can't fly yet. <laughs> Whoopsie. Ah! Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. If you've got a heart attack there, don't even worry about it. Just chill. I definitely wasn't stressed. Hey, buddy. Oi. Look at me when I'm talking to you. No, I don't want that. This guy looks kind of scary, so I'm gonna use some of these. And actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one of these. Jump. Got this. Bloop in the eye. Bloop in the eye. And cancel. Now the real fight begins. Face me. What? What? Why? Were you supposed to fuse with that rock, and you fused with a leak instead? Ah! Uh... You're really not threatening here. Not as much as you'd like to be. Now, I don't want you to fall off, so get over here. 
Hit me with your leak. What are you doing? Oh yeah, another leak is gonna solve the problem. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, I need to get this timing down. No. Come on, one more time and I'll get it. Wow, that killed me! I should not have underestimated the leak. And that is a life lesson. Um, if someone is crazy enough to threaten your life with a delicious herb, you might, you might want to take a step back and think about things. Um, that was the first death. That was uh, a bit embarrassing. Um, we're probably... Um, if I had to say, never gonna talk about that again. Never going to talk about that again. Do you hear me? Why can't I grab that? It's kind of dumb. We're never gonna talk about that again. Ever. Uh, that needs to be Why can't I grab stuff sometimes? No! Not gonna talk about anything. Yeah, we're not gonna- I, I am going to get my revenge. Like, that- that kind of disrespect. This is the person- I didn't mean to attach that. This is the guy. I am the guy who, in Breath of the Wild, defeated Silver Lynels in 14 seconds. There is no way I'm gonna fall to this garlic-using, stinky breath having son of- uh, yeah, son of a leak. That's a crit. And cancel. Not gonna happen, buddy. I'm gonna equip a better weapon. Quicker weapon. That didn't flurry rush. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In this blind spot, you're not gonna get away with yeah fire this is that is that really the guy that that got me like for real oh i i really want that weapon uh drop give it to me mm. okay i got it Oh, that's just a broadsword with a st Oh, but it's, that's actually super powerful. Yeah, I'll take that. I also need a construct bow. The Sonai charge. I, I'm i kind of... You know what? I, I said, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. We're just going to... Acknowledge that I did that on my first try. I never fell. And, um, that, that's the end of that. What is on this island? Is there a reason for me to have come here? Um... Clearly there's something up there, right? Yeah, okay. So this is kind of a puzzle, except it's a really lame puzzle. All I need to... All I need to do... Is that. Wrong button. Climb. I actually, every now and then whenever I'm quiet, I'm not th trying to think of things to say, I'm listening to the music. And so far, I... <clears throat> so far, I, I've been a pretty big fan of it. It's, um... It's reserved like Breath of the Wilds was, but it's... <sighs> Less obnoxious? Uh, Breath of the Wild, I'm really not a fan of its soundtrack. Also, I need to be careful with my stamina. I'm in that point part of the game where I can't... I can't do stuff like that. Um, we're gonna crawl over there. Breath of the Wild's idea of a good soundtrack was randomly hitting piano notes every five seconds. There are some good songs, don't get me wrong. Hateno Village is one of my favorite, like, peace, peaceful songs. I, I listen to it all the time when I'm cooking. Um, it's such a great cooking song, a great housework song. But overall, Breath of the Wild's soundtrack was kind of a, kind of a massive L for me. 
Um, their idea of the Temple of Time is to play the Temple of Time's notes every 35 seconds, and that's not a tune. Randomly hitting piano to notes is not music. Now, don't get me wrong, in terms of its ambience, it, it was a fantastic ambience. It was great to experience while playing, but it wasn't great to experience also. My master plan here was to glide over there, and I only now do I did I remember that I cannot glide yet. But you never know, there might be something up here to experience. Like a sky shroom. And I think in the starting area, the music is going to be extremely, like, very reserved. Um, but, man, this is bright. Oh, no. <sighs> Don't say it, guys. Don't say it. Don't say it. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Don't say it. Do not say it. 901 or 902. Oh, I, I noticed this earlier. I said it, I, it probably honestly at this point, like episodes ago, um, I said I'll, I, I paused for a second and said that I'll talk about that later. Uh, I just noticed on the bottom right hand corner of the screen on the, the mini map, uh, it's measuring like latitude and longitude, which is really cool. I, that's a, such a cool idea. Like it allows people to share where they're at regardless of like anything, right? Y I don't have to describe how to get a pla get to a place. I can just tell someone my, my latitude and, lo and longitude, and they can just go there. That is a, such a cool idea. I'm I'm really happy that they did that, and it kind of blew it blew my mind earlier when I saw it. I just forgot because obviously things are happening. What is that down there? Interesting. Also, the water looks kind of weird. Not gonna lie, that's really weird looking. Okay, uh, so we, we did what we needed to do up here. Now we're kind of, like, not doing the objective. And I, I did say I was going to not do that. That's repetitive looking water there. We're gonna climb down. And... Let go. Okay. So what we were doing. We were making a machine and it despawned. Awesome. Okay, we're back. Let's lift this up. Put it in there and I can... I drop it in. And I think if I remember the trailer, I just need to hit that. There we go. Okay, I have a battery symbol. But I have more than enough juice to get across. You know what this reminds me of? Oh, I forget what it's actually called, but it was, um... I played a lot of this back in the day. It was, um... It was one of the Angry Birds spinoffs. Was it... Oh, what was it called? It's where you play as the pigs, and uh, you get to build a bunch of contraptions to kill the birds, or... I don't even remember why you built the contraptions, but... Man, it was super fun. And it feels a lot like that. If it's anything like that, I'm going to really enjoy myself, because I, I played that game a ton. More arrows. Um, you know what? I'm going to cook some stuff real quick, and I'm going to cut that out. Give me a second. Hot weather attack up. That's kind of neat. I, I like that. Uh, this is what I did. I don't need that long stick. It can burn. I don't care. Uh, uh, no, I'll, I'll say this before I, I talk to him. Uh, this is what my inventory looks like right now. So, obviously I have the garbage I cooked earlier. Uh, but I experimented with uh, how uh, sort is that... I experimented with different mixtures of of items um, to see if cooking the same exact effect and stacking it five times was as good as mixing identical effects. So here, uh, let's see. This, yeah. I mixed the two, and then here I just cooked one. And it looks like... It actually looks like cooking one, like a mono recipe, is better... Overall, I didn't really expect that, but I mean, that that one speaks for itself. It restores eight hearts and one and a half stamina wheels. Uh, ultimately, I think that restoring stamina right now is going to be really, really good. Uh, mushroom skewer. And it tells me all the stuff I've made, I think. So far? Odd. Okay. 
All right. Uh, also, actually, I guess that's a pretty vast improvement. Uh, being able to check the recipe and seeing all the stuff I've made in the past. It might be all the stuff that's in my inventory right now. It probably is. Uh, view history. Oh, okay. That's what it is. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Oh, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I developed a guideline for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can used, be used either to cook or to warm yourself. Um, I don't even know all that. I appreciate you, though. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, am I done cooking? They're giving me... Yeah, I know, so... They're giving me rush rooms. So I'm gonna make, real quick, a movement potion. Because ultimately, if it's gonna get cold, which we did see that there are some icy areas. If it's gonna get cold, um, I do... There it goes. Um, I do need... <laughs> I did, uh, moving fast through the area is quite a big buff. So let's do this. Turn, cook. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a, a tier two boost, but that's kind of expecting a lot of rush rooms. All right, once I get to snow, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna chug my my movement speed item. That's hmm. Wrong button. That was a fall. I probably should have done that. I should probably shouldn't have done that. That's what I learned from playing Minecraft. It's fine. Calm down. It's fine. Calm down. It's fine. Calm down. 903. And a zone I charge. And another zone I charge. And some mushrooms. I'm okay. It's okay. I will be fine. Nothing is wrong. Oh, uh, something I noticed earlier, if I can show this off real quick. Actually, yeah, I'll show it off now. Uh, when I entered arrow time, it doesn't use stamina until I fire an arrow, which I really like. It gives me time to fuse stuff. Granted, time is frozen here. I really like that change. Solid change. I also didn't mean to do that. A lot of little quality of life improvements, some of which I didn't even know I needed. All the cooking ones were ones I wanted, um, but it, it feels really good. Uh, I can fuse that with something. I can fuse that with something. Let's let's use this. Uh, the some of the, the improvements they've made to like attacking, um, some some weird actions that have a ton of end lag. Like for example, um, earlier I walked. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier, I, I walked over, like, a, a piece of rubble, or it was, like, a Zonai part or something, and I was able to press the Shield Surf button and and get the Shield Surf out. That's something that you can't do in Breath of the Wild, and it just works smoothly here. Uh, overall, I, I'm noticing just some minor improvements to just how Link moves, um, a, a couple of his animations, which... I mean, Breath of the Wild has, don't get me wrong, stellar animations, but the, there, there are some improvements that I never know, knew I needed. Those are just flint, in case I need fire. Oh. Okay. Ultimately... Actually, before I do this... I could use a stealth potion, but I don't think I need it. There are a bunch of weapons there. Hmm. How do I want to do this? That's their response. Do they know still? No, they don't. Ooh, this guy does. No, no, no. Jump. There we go. 
uh, kill, kill, kill this guy. Thankfully, there's no rush for me to do so. And just a normal arrow. Uh, none. Why did it go through him? Why did it go through him? I don't like that. That's fine. I can do this. He's dead. Need to be careful of him. Let's equip. That is my highest. Uh, we're gonna equip that. That's good. This is good. This is good. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, we're gonna drop this. Grab this. Grab this. We're gonna do the same thing. Come on over. Water's fine. Look at me. Look at me in your in my eyes, and see that you only have. Oh, that's not good. See that you only have one eye. Attack me. Hit me. That's too easy. I'm not gonna take that. Hit me. Hit me. Come on. That's right. Also, wait, hold up. Link's attack pattern there is different. That's new. Did you see how he attacked there? One, two, three. That's a cooler anime. I mean, it's still pretty, pretty rudimentary, but it's a slightly cooler animation. Uh, weapon. Can I fuse those together? Can I fuse a bow with, wait. Hold the phone. Why? <laughs> Why? Does that shoot arrows? No. Why? Why can I fuse those? Can I like, no, I can't use it. That's ridiculous and also a massive waste. But uh, you, you gotta learn, you gotta learn this stuff. Man, that's a waste. <laughs> Whoops. Opal, whatever.